think it would be best if you were to do another question Or this question is set by me So if anything wrong, don't blame me Alright, but anyway So a microcontroller process um, run A microcontroller runs at 1.8 volt Alright, and takes in 1000 instruction And therefore determine whether is it a weak, do a weak dominant system or a sleep dominant system Alright, so the operating frequency is given 20 MHz and the operating current is about 45 mA Alright, so the backup mode current is 3 micro ampere. Alright, so in other words, it's, you can also say that it's, it's micro ampere. Okay, so therefore, um, what can we do about this? How do we first start? Alright, so um, in order to first start, you need to understand how the, the thing behaves. Correct? So the first thing first, you may... Um, let me see. You may actually, okay. In in terms of tackling the question, let's just tackle the question first. Then later on you'll get to see the graph. Okay? So what I do is equals is that T, your period, is equals to one over frequency times number of instructions. Actually I should say that this T is not a period. This we should say that the time the time taken alright to process your instruction. Alright, so this will be a better word to say rather than it's the period because I don't think it's the period. Alright. So therefore we we can just say that this is the the time taken to actually um process actually you can also say it's period lah. But anyway, I leave you to think about it. Uh, because T over T is equal to one over frequency. But anyway, so um what you can see say is that one over your operating frequency, your clock frequency. Alright, so this operating frequency is your clock frequency. So it's 20 times 10 to the power 6 times the number of instructions. So you are taking in 1000 instructions. Alright, so therefore what I have is um, it's 50 milliseconds. Okay, I may be wrong. Maybe Kai's mistake, but I think correct. Lah. Okay, anyway, so next thing, this is the first step. You need to determine the 50 milliseconds first. Alright, you need to use this, this thing first. Alright, the second step we're going to do is that the second step is to know that the average current is calculated by taking your operating current times your operating time plus your sleeping current times your sleeping time. If you happen that you don't understand anything about what I've just said, hang on a little bit. You just take note of the equations that you may, you may want to use. This thing over here and this thing that I've just written over here. Alright, if you happen that you come from the previous video or I'll suggest you watch this video Alright, then you come here. Alright, then, yeah, but anyway, we'll, we'll continue first, and later on, I'll explain to you what are all this that I'm talking about. If happen that you don't even know what I'm talking, okay? So, what the operating current? I'll just say that the operating current is the operating current that is uh, when you're using the. The operating frequency is when you're using the frequency to take in the, in the 1000 instruction. Alright, the operating current is the current that is used to also take in the 1000 instruction so together they are one they are one set in order of taking 1000 1000 instruction you use this amount of frequency you will generate this amount of current all right this is something of that meaning lah. so what i can do is take is to write it down the 45 milli ampere so i would have um, 45 milli ampere which is our operating current as i shown over here okay Multiply by your operating time. The operating time is you have, you have been calculated. It's 50 milliseconds. Okay. And then plus your sleeping current is what? The sleeping current they tell you is that the backup mode current is 3 micro ampere. When I say about something like backup mode, alright, this means that it's about sleeping. Alright, it's a sleeping current. So therefore, it's about 3 micro ampere times sleeping time. So what is the sleeping time? Alright, you're gonna the sleeping time is gonna take. So this is two maybe a bit like step three. So it's like one thousand millisecond minus fifty millisecond. Okay. So in other words, um, one maybe I should write down the equation. Is sleeping time is equals to one thousand millisecond or in other words one second minus away the operating time. The operating time is fifty millisecond. So what we have is 950 milliseconds. Okay, so I'll just multiply it in over here. And last and still don't if you don't understand what I mean, you are we are coming there, okay? So hold on a while. So over one second. 
okay then I'm gonna multiply these things out okay so 45 times 50 I would have 2250 milli times milli I would have what 10 to a negative 3 times 10 to a negative 3 is 10 to a negative 6 so I would have 10 to a negative 6 ampere times second right this is second so I would have a this thing over here ampere times second plus 3 micro ampere times 950 millisecond so 3 times 950 is what I would have 2850 micro times milli is what micro is 10 to a negative 6 milli is 10 to a negative 3 right so I would have 10 to the negative 9 uh, ampere second right ampere times second also okay then everything divided by one second all right so we see that the SI unit can be cancelled out so I'll use a different color so the second and second will cancel out each other so I can rewrite this thing now as what okay I can rewrite this as 2250 micro ampere all right plus so this thing over here is this is micro so 2250 micro ampere plus okay I will also want to change the this thing over here is nano I want to change to my um micro all right actually that's not I say 10 to the negative 3 right it's actually milli all right so micro is actually 10 to the negative 6 then nano is 10 to the negative 9 but anyway so if I were to change this to 10 to the negative 6 or micro then I could divide I'm gonna times or I'm gonna divide by 1000 so 1 2 3 I would have 2.85 micro ampere okay so, so in other words I'm I'm changing this thing over here to two eight sorry two point eight five times ten to a negative six. Alright, right your right, negative six is actually micro. Okay? So you can just work out the math lah. It's just straightforward. Alright, this thing over here is same as this. Okay? And therefore if you were to do that, alright, what do we have? Alright, we will have two two five zero plus two point eight five is 2252.85 micro ampere all right and this portion over here if you if you think about it we we just started off uh, stating that this is the operating current all right so this whole thing over here is your operating system when you operate and taking the data this over here is talking about when you're sleeping okay so over here this is operating this is sleeping okay and the operating takes in more current than the sleeping right because the sleeping takes in lesser current as you comparatively as you can see if you compare correct and therefore we can say that this system over here is a wake dominant all right because it's awake it's awake and it's dominant all right so this system is a wake dominant so that's as as the question has said right determine whether is it a, a wake dominant or sleep dominant so therefore you you require to be weight dominant not required but this is this system is considered a weight dominant that's all all right so therefore to add on is that how can you improve this system how can you take in lesser current all right how this is still uh, we, we think that this is actually taking in more current so we want to actually have a lesser current all right then one one recommendation is to actually increase your operating frequency all right you can increase operating frequency to maybe 80 megahertz or maybe more than that all right so that you can actually have a sleep dominant system all right so in other words sleep dominant system is a more preferable preferable one than the weight dominant system because it takes in lesser current sleep dominant takes in lesser current and this information if you want to know more you can actually watch this video v10 11 all right just watch it's a long video but at least it's really really i think it's pretty much helpful so i'll just explain briefly to you what are all this meaning in terms of a graphical system okay i'm a, a little bit lagging but anyway so this thing that i'm calculating for this mini 50 millisecond is to calculate all right the time taken to take in 1000 data all right because over here if i were to draw this graph this thing over here maybe i should draw this other line this whole chunk over here is the amount of current all right along multiplied by your time 
all right so it's ampere times time this whole area under the curve all right and this thing over here is your um what we call the operating current all right at 45 milli ampere all right so over here as you can see there is no 45 milli ampere but this thing is to calculate how many how much time is needed to actually take in 1000 data all right if you still remember just now our question tells you that um, we're actually taking in 1000 instruction all right so 1000 instruction is within a particular period all right so we're actually taking so this portion that i just said over here this all this thing over here is is the time re, time taken all right to or maybe i should say that this particular length over here all right this length maybe i should use a thicker line it's already very thick this amount of time is used to take in 1000 data all right and this amount of area under the curve is the amount of time to take in the 1000 data times the amount of current that is being used all right hopefully this is pretty clear all right and therefore this over here is your weak region because you are awake and taking data okay the next portion over here that i'm calculating all right so this thing over here that i've said this maybe this thing over here is the time all right as the time which is this time over here all right or this thing over here is talking about the current times the time or the area under this this curve and this whole thing over here is called the wakes the with the weight area when you're awake you're taking the 1000 data okay well now we're going to talk about the sleeping all right the sleeping is talking about when you're asleep all right what how, how much time you're talking about so this is why we're talking about sleeping time we're talking about one second minus away your operating time your operating time is actually the one that i've calculated this 15 millisecond over here all right maybe i should go zoom in a while. Yeah, this is the operating time when operate and taking 1000 data and nonetheless if you think about it this whole thing over here is your one second so for one second you do you're taking 1000 data and you sleep for a certain period of time so after that at the, at the next period you wake up again you take in 1000 data you sleep again so this is for another 1000 uh, 1000 millisecond or one one second okay so this whole thing is one second and then this thing over here is 50 millisecond while this thing over here is one thousand millisecond or your one second minus away your 15 millisecond minus away this one so in other words this this portion over here is 950 millisecond okay and this is what i'm calculating for this third part over here i'm calculating the sleeping time while you are asleep okay after calculating the time i also need to know the amount of current being used all right the amount of current being used is the sleeping current or if we say the backup mode current all right the backup mode current all over here three micro ampere all right so i've actually exaggerated quite a, a fair bit of micro ampere but anyway so this 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 length over here all right this this particular magnitude over here is three micro ampere okay so this is 45 mi this is 45 milliampere this is three micro ampere all right so the area under this this green one all right is the sleeping time and times the sleeping current all right so i hope you are pretty clear so this green color portion is this portion is this portion over here or this portion over here while well, this operating system where you're taking 1000 data is all over here and all over here okay take a time to to just digest a bit okay so as you can see we're actually um so much summing up all the area under the curve and then we divide everything by one second as you, keep, as you see so we're actually taking in the average current so our primary concern is, is, to, is to talk about taking in the average current so if i were to divide by one second i would have this particular stuff so the average current that I would use is this thing all over here, 2252.85 microampere. Okay, so this is the average current across this particular one second. All right. So the next second, then you have another, then you have another, another peak. All right, where you take in 1,000 data, then you sleep again. For this whole thing is one second, 
and then after that you wake up again you take in 1000 data you sleep again for another one second so this one second and carry on and carry on forever okay you get what i mean so therefore this is the, the calculation next is that you know that the the uh, the operating the operating area under the curve all right the operating current sorry the operating current is larger than the slipping current so we say that it is considered the weight dominant okay if you happen that if next time you have a question that you have a higher frequency higher operating frequency all right instead of your instead of what we have told you 20 megahertz if you have happened that you have a much much higher frequency all right then at the outcome over here what do you what you have may actually have a lower so in this case if i were to switch position all right if if i were to say that this is the operating this is the sleeping right if my sleeping current is larger than the operating current this means that it is a sleep dominant all right i repeat again if the sleeping current is larger than the operating current then it's considered a sleep dominant if the operating current is larger than sleep dominant then it's considered weight dominant okay in this case it's pure it's, it's most likely the weight dominant because it's larger all right if i were to change the value if i were to cancel all right if i have three micro m this is maybe four micro m all right this thing is this whole system is a weight dominant i mean this is something is a sleep dominant because the sleep current is larger than the operating current okay so in in addition as i say you can improve your system if because over here the current is 2252.85 micro ampere so in order to reduce this current you can actually have a higher frequency all right this is actually in the previous video we said all right so if you increase the frequency you are moving towards sleep dominant system okay um i'll just suggest you watch this video all right and then um not least i think this will be a bet better qu a good question is that if i have a 2000 milliampere battery how long can it last okay so 2000 milliampere all right divide you're going to take ampere divided by ampere so you get the, the, the time okay you say is if i have a 2000 milliampere hour battery okay the SI unit will be more consistent so 2000 milli is 10 to the negative 3 all right Mount divided by 2252 so i'll just write it down 2252 5 times 10 to the negative 6 your micro okay so if i were to calculate uh, 0 0.887 times 10 to the power of 3 hours all right this thing over here is it's milli ampere hour this thing over here it's sorry i should say that this over here is ampere hour this over here is ampere Right, because what this this thing over here is in terms of ampere or this thing over here is in terms of milli ampere hour or ampere hour okay so the uh, the ampere ampere cancel we have hours okay and if you were to convert to to years she no need years la, okay this thing over here is approximately about 87 times 10 to, to 3 is what it's 887 hours all right if you divide by 24 hours which is a day then you'll get approximately 36 days so your battery can last for about 36 days before it fails all right so this is how you calculate the the approximation of how many days is required and things like that all right so i think this is the end of of everything yay so good luck